has important tactical uses, both in attack and defense. Its characteristics in the SF role must be understood clearly if the gun is to be used effectively. a slightly different path. The bullets form a pattern known as the cone of fire, which is oval in shape, with the majority of shots concentrated in the center. When they strike flat ground, they form a horizontal pattern called the beaten zone. The lower shots striking the ground nearest the ground. At a range of 600 meters, the beaten zone is about 100 meters long but only one meter wide. Also at 600 meters, the trajectory is very flat. No bullets rising more than four feet above the ground, as the tracer helps indicate. At greater ranges, the length of the beaten zone decreases and its width increases. For example, at 1100 meters, the beaten zone is 70 meters long by two meters wide. On rising ground, the zone is still short. On ground falling away, it becomes longer. The beaten zone is the key to the tactical employment of the GPMG in its sustained fire role. One or more gun is best sighted to a flank to take targets in enfilade in front of neighboring defensive positions. The length of the beaten zone it's employed its best advantage to cover targets of tactical importance. For example, along tracks or hedgerows, or as in this case, along the edge of a wood. To cover targets with length or width, the beaten zones of more than one gun can be overlapped end to end or placed side by side. Up to 1,100 meters, observation of tracer ensures accuracy. Beyond 1,100 meters, tracer burns out. Accuracy then depends on observing the strike of the bullets and making corrections to hit the target. The weapon can be used up to about 1,800 meters, provided good observation of strike is possible. Strike at longer ranges, the fire controller must be displaced to one side in a separate OP. Strike is more easily observed if two or more guns are employed and ground is dry or dusty. If the target is such that no strike can be observed, then choose a spot where the gun can be ranged. Corrected onto the target. Provided the guns have been registered and recorded in good visibility, using the C2 dial sight and aiming post and lamp, predetermined targets can be engaged even in darkness or when obscured by smoke or poor visibility. Frontal targets do not make best use of the beaten zone. Guns should always be well protected and sighted in defilade. That way you get better concealment plus more effective fire. To be most effective, lines of fire should be across ground which is either level or slopes gradually away from the gun. By removing such simple rules, you'll make the most of the GPMG's potential. In a simple attack, where there's little other fire support, the GPMG can provide supporting fire to neutralize an enemy position immediately before the final assault. During the attack, the weapon and its SF can put down accurate supporting fire on enemy positions in front of leading assault.
At longer ranges, the gun has much greater accuracy than if used in its light room. Here, in a simple dismounted combat team fire and maneuver situation, the fire platoon has been allocated two SF kits by the combat team commander to give additional fire support to his attack from the flank. The other two platoons are to assault the enemy position. Mortars are also available. Prior to the attack, extra ammunition has to be dumped at the gun positions by the rifle sections. by the platoon commander personally because of the flanking safety considerations involved in this attack situation. It's his job to brief the senior gun controller and also to be certain that the safety of the assaulting troops is assured. be observed and safety limits met. In your time, the flanking safety limit is never less than 50 mils. In this case, it is applied by the platoon commander personally. So he selects a common feature on the safe side of the safety limit. When the assault troops reach this prominent feature, fire is switched. The new target is far enough ahead of the advancing troops for them to remain safe. The gun controller must not lose sight of the progress of any troops during the attack. One one zero, one one. Move to new location now. Over. One one zero, we'll go out. Prepare to move! This gone. Right, we'll see. With the attack completed, the GPMGs will, on orders, reorganize quickly on the objective and join up with the assaulting troops, ready to meet any counterattack. 